Hi there, welcome to Ms. Cooper's art class. Today I'm showing you how to do stipple drawing, um, which is drawing using dots. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a, a micron pen, it's kind of like a fine point sharpie, and I'm laying down um, some basic dots, really light, because I'm creating value uh, by spreading out my dots in a certain way. So you see the closer together my dots are, the darker my drawing appears to be. So what I do is I start with the very lightest area, kind of block that in, and then take my very darkest area and start adding dots. You can't even really see it, but my pen is moving very fast. From there, I slowly work my way out into the lighter area um, by very carefully spreading my dots, putting them right in the middles of each other very carefully, and I sped this up. Um, what I say a lot is that you can always add more dots, but it is hard to take them away. So that's why I'm very slowly working from my darkest area into my light and kind of slowly darkening up my darkest area even more as I go. And then kind of evening out the clumps at the end by looking at weird kind of white spots or gaps that I left and then adding more dots in the middle. So stippling is not um, little hairs or little dust or tick marks, although they're really cool looking. Um, and it's also not circles, you're doing little dots, although those are interesting too. So what I'm showing you right now is um, what would happen if you did a sphere, and I'm not adding a shadow to it or anything. Um, mostly I'm just trying to show you the basics here. So I put in a little smattering of dots, I kind of spread those out, and I start to add a couple more to get that base layer in and to figure out kind of how dark it is at its lightest spot so I can go from there. So once I have my base layer of dots in, that's when I can start adding my very darkest dots and placing those and placing that shadow. So in my case that would be right across from the light source on my sphere. And you'll notice even though it's my darkest area, it took me a second to really darken it. I zoomed in so you can see that I am in fact doing actual dots and not scribbling. When you do actual dots, it looks a lot neater and more consistent to the person viewing it because they do see those little gaps between dots. So I slowed it down so you can see I'm carefully placing my dots in the centers of other dots. It's not like I have a grid, I'm not measuring it out, I'm just trying to uh, place them as well as I can, just using my eyes. Now you'll notice it's a little bit lighter at the bottom of my sphere. That's because when you put a sphere or a ball or something on something like a table, there's some reflected light that actually bounces back up onto the bottom of the sphere. So it ends up a little bit lighter than your darkest core shadow. So now you can see I'm using that approach, same as I did on the value scale, but now I'm taking my dark area and slowly working it into my light area. Not all at once, I'm just slowly starting to spread it out and figure out what I want my sides of my sphere to look like so I can even them out with each other. Um, now, I definitely don't work this fast. I wish I did in real life. This is actually sped up quite a bit. So the whole sphere uh, took me mm, just under an hour and a half to do, but it's because I was being very careful. Um, you'll notice I'm slowly like, working my way from the dark to the light area. I'm not you know, working from light to dark. I find I get too dark too fast going that way. And you'll also notice I don't have a lot of clumps of dots that are really kind of stuck together awkwardly making little blotches or patches. Um, you want to save yourself some hassle later by spreading your dots out very carefully from the get-go um, because you do have to make your drawing a little bit darker when you even those out. So if you were drawing a portrait of a friend who did not have a mustache and you were doing shading on the upper lip and you had a clump of dots and you needed to darken it, as long as you started with your shadows still pretty light, it means that you won't accidentally give them a mustache um, because they might be confused when you hand it back to them and they suddenly have some facial hair there. I went off on a tangent there. So now what I'm doing is I'm adding dots that are a little smaller than the other dots to even out the clumps and even up my shading. So instead of pressing um, with regular force with the pen and making a full out, you know, bona fide dot. I'm just kind of very lightly tapping the page and making the smallest, hardest to see dot ever because when you add enough of those, that does even it out and make your shading look really smooth. 
If you can't tell, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so of course I spent a while evening mine out. That's actually what I spend a lot of my time doing. And of course I picked a sphere too, which has to look very regular and even, so I had to spend an extra long amount of time. So in future videos, if I am stippling something else, uh, I probably won't spend quite as much time evening it out, uh, which is also why I did not include a shadow in here because, you know, you get the idea. At the end of this, I did move this away from my camera setup just to um, kind of get the last couple dots in there. You can see I'm just evening it out. You can see the different size dots at that point. So to get rid of the last couple clumps, I uh, moved it away from my camera setup, which is a locker shelf with an iPad poking the camera through the hole, um, which doesn't really lend itself to working. So I moved that and evened it out. So what you can see now is the final product, and I'm zooming in on it. Anyway, thank you so much for learning with me. If you'd like to learn more, please subscribe, or if you comment below, give me a like. I'm happy to answer questions and comments. I love hearing from you and taking suggestions. Anyway, thank you so much.